Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Grand Theft Auto 3. And there's my car. I was like, I, I remember putting one in here. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? So last time we got uh, we got the, uh, the whole Grand Theft Arrow plane mission done. I think that was last video, wasn't it? I, I can't even remember. Oh, and they, oh yeah, we did, because then we got, um, we found out that our crazy-ass girlfriend that left us for dead in the alleyway was, you know, running the show up there on top of that construction building, and now Asuka, apparently, uh, um, apparently also not knowing that we're the one that killed her brother, <laughs> uh, she wants us to go do some missions for her, um, but I'm trying to figure out what to do here, I, I mean, we have, we have, a uh, you know, bathroom Zanzibar dude down there with R. We have Asuka and we have another one with uh, with Mr. D here. So I think we'll finish off D. I'm not sure whether, you know, if I were to finish off his missions if that would cancel off like these other ones down here. I'm not positive. It's very dark in Liberty City right now. But then again, I guess it's like 5 in the morning, so. But the sun should be coming out. What the hell is it so dark for? Dun, 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 dun. You are proving to be a safe investment, a rare thing in these days of falsehood. My oriental friend will need an escort while he takes my latest acquisition to be authenticated. I want you to follow him and make sure both he and my package get to Pike Creek unharmed. Well, what if he gets like a scratch on like his elbow? If he gets dinged up on the elbow, do I fail? I would hope that maybe I could uh, get, a, get a pass there or something. He's like, damn you, I said no damage. He has a scrape on his big toes. Okay, here we go. Nothing like escorting the old group sex. Dude, this game is just genius with all the like little like references they have and like innuendo for things. Like, who would have like what other game would have used the idea for group sex as like an armored car? It's like the greatest idea ever spawned. There's gonna be an issue here somewhere. I'm just waiting for it. Somebody's gonna come up and be like, Oh my god, the Colombians are gonna try to kill him! They don't want him to get there! Because he said something mean to them on Facebook. Or maybe on MySpace, even. The, whoa! What's up with that tire? Uh... Wow, that was really weird. I'll bet you there's probably still people that use MySpace. Even though it's like, completely dead to the world. What are you doing, Mr. Driver Man? Get a hold of yourself! My god! But yeah, I'll bet you there's still people that use it. I definitely still have my profile there. Whoa! Okay, this is this is bad. This is this is not good. Yeah. Yeah, peace out. No. No. You get out of you get out of here. Wow, they had a car full of dudes. This isn't helping that I have a really, really slow-ass vehicle. This is... BOOM! Get out of the way. Uh, but yeah, I still have my profile. I mean, albeit I don't use it. Um, I think I've signed onto it like once in the last, like, I don't even know how long. But it's still there. Um, I don't know, it just like, it started getting really weird. They started trying to like, you know, impersonate, like, Facebook and, and Twitter and trying to do like everything that they do. And so at, at that point I was just like, you know, this is this is getting a little oh no! No! Ugh, that did a lot of damage. Crap. Not what I wanted. But yeah, I think that I think that Justin Timberlake owns that now. I think after uh, after good old MySpace Tom sold it for like fifty bajillion dollar he uh, he bought it and then like made it worth like 50 bajillion dollars. I think he sold it to Justin Timberlake for like I think he sold it to him for like 50 million when at the peak of its popularity it was worth probably like like 550 or 600 million or something crazy like that. To think that we all used to be like total whores on that. Getting up every day and making sure that you know we checked it all the time. You're like oh my god I, I think I got a new comment. Yes! And spending all that time learning HTML codes so that you could you could uh, do like layouts for your profile and putting in like those really choppy ass low quality music videos and stuff and you know trying to make it look all all neat and everything. 
I still remember the very first layout that I had for that. Now that I think about it, it was, it was like a, it was really weird. I had a, it was like the Atlanta Braves logo because me and uh, me and my friends in high school we had this this little clique that we called the ATL Players because you know we were like faux gangsters or something. I don't even know. Oh, damn it. Yeah, that'll work. Whatever. And so I had that as a background, and then I, I think the music video that I had was um, What They Gon' Do by Lil Jon and the East Side Boys, for whatever reason. I don't know why that would have been my, my first choice. So, yeah, that was that. The very, I think, um, at one point I had, like, um, let's see, what, what was it? Oh, yeah, when you, you had to have that little code in your in your profile information or whatever where you just had like music play like ominously over the back and you couldn't stop it. That was good. There were a couple times that I made it to a song that my friends hated. Just so every time they'd visit it, they're like, oh god, no, I hate that song. But, yeah. That, that was something that I, I spent a lot of time on and then, you know, it ended up being all for naught because everybody's just like, oh, Facebook. I remember when Facebook first came out and like I had a couple of friends that made one and it was like before it was really popular and everyone was like, oh, you know, Facebook's stupid. That's dumb. MySpace is gonna be forever. You know, and then like within like about eight months or so, Facebook completely takes over the world. It's like, well, there we go. There's that, and the game is over. All right, this needs to needs to hurry up and be done already. I need a faster car too. I mean, this this perennial has been serviceable at best. I just really hope that we can get through here safely. What in the hell is going on? Why are these guys driving like this? I don't want this armored car to get over there. This guy's a dick. I'm just not gonna take any of this sitting down. So where are we right now? Are we are we over we on the good side of town or what? I think I'm gonna go get some frozen yogurt here in a little bit. That sounds dank as all hell. And I actually, I, I really, I really don't like the word dank. I think it's a really awkward word to use. Oh no! Oh no! It's on the brink! The brink of ins- Why is this taxi doing that right now? Why is he like, riding his bunghole right now? It's like all, all awkward and shit. It's like, leave him alone for 0 0.2 of a second here. What are you doing? Why would you do that? Oh no. Oh no! Well, don't get all on my... Don't get all on my case here. Oh no. Please get there! Please, no! Damn it! Ah. Yeah, he didn't make it. I understand that. Oh no, okay. We need to get out of here. What? Whoa. And we have the cops on us. That's just great. That's just what I wanted to have happen. Okay, I'm gonna, actually, now that we're on this side of the world, we might as well do some of those payphone missions. I mean, at least they're here. We can do them. I have to get down into the right area so that we can do them. But let's do one anyways. We had fun with those. Doing the whole, like, remote-controlled car, you know, blow up some, some gang vehicles and such. I thought it was fun. I, I don't know about the rest of you guys. Is there, like, a hidden package in here or what? You would think this would be a place where they would put one. Totally. Or maybe not. God, I hate when you do that. You you hit like the the little like handbrake to try to get it to stop, and then like your guy gets out of the car. It's like I didn't ask you to get out of the car, Claude. I asked you to stop the damn thing. I'll bet you that there's a hidden package up here, or there's one of these. Even better. There's no package up here. So what would they? Why would they give us one of these up here? Ramp. Ooh. Destroy 15 vehicles in that amount of time, huh? Sounds like fun. I mean, this, this is really the first that we've actually been able to play with a rocket launcher. So this is exciting. I feel bad blowing up all these cars. I mean, what did these, these guys ever do to anybody? Nothing, that's what. But that doesn't really mean anything. I'm still going to do it just because I want to do it. Cause this is fun. This is this is this is what real enjoyment is. Nothing says having a good weekend like blowing up all the cars riding down the street right here. 
Let's put some lemon in their vestibule. Da! Da! Cop car on fire! Yeah! Yeah! I like how they, they'll count like the collateral of that too. That's that's even better. This is the police. Stop! This is the. Oh yeah! This is the. This is the paramedics. Peace out, guys. I just want to kill that guy because he was there. Oh no. We need three more. Three more vehicular manslaughter by blowing it up. Oh, look at that precision shot. Oh, come on, baby. Oh, I missed it. Well, no, I didn't really miss it. And the Coupe de Gras! Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh, it's just so much fun. I love blowing things up. Beat people up, he says. Okay, well before I waste any more time here, let's let's go let's go hit up that payphone, because I wanna I wanna do some gang shit. I wanna do it. Hardcore. Oh, so I'm sitting here uh, watching American Dad last night, and uh, I was like flipping through channels, I was waiting for Ghost Adventures to come back on, and I flipped the channel back over, and the very first thing that I hear uh, when it comes in was butthole. <laughs> it was really I was like, uh, alright. It's like, I wonder what the hell they were talking about at that juncture for it to be butthole-based. Oh. Yep, style points. Don't get out of the car, Claude. Come on now. What is up with this? Oh, no. Well, okay, maybe that's not so bad. Yeah. Oh, there's a package down there. So, wait a minute. I am sure that I probably can't drive my car in here, can I? Nope. Sure can't. That was really stupid. Damn it. Ugh. I saw there was a package over there. I was thinking, you know, maybe the water was shallow enough that I could get over there, but why would that ever be the case? That was, like, the worst idea I've ever had. Not to mention I lost all of my guns and ammo from that now. Way to go, dude. Oh, well. What can you do? The only thing that we can do is steal a really nice fast car and then go to the payphone. That's all we can do. Oh, okay, there we go. And off we go to the promised land. Yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be filming stuff all day today. I'm pretty excited about it. I'm just saying, I'm in one of those moods where that just seems like the best thing to do because I have the day off and I'm like abnormally energetic today for some reason. I'm just, I'm just, whoa, okay, yep, not a good idea. Oh, we need to take the bridge, that's what, that's what we need to do. That's right, that's right. I should probably actually take the bridge instead of trying to makeshift my own way over there. Let's just drive up the hill and not actually take the bridge, said me. And then in my brain I was like, hey, dumbass, you should actually take the bridge because that's the only way you're going to get there. You're not going to you know, do that weird car commercial where, you know, cars can fly off of bridges and nothing bad happens. Okay, let's... I think that phone's down this way. Kinda, sorta. Whoa! Okay, Tokyo Drift all the way to hell right there. Okay. Actually, we can stop by our little uh, our little safe house here because I think last time we uh, actually got the ability to have Uzis sitting out here because we have like 20 hidden packages now or some jizz like that. Give me what I need. So we got that. Even though nobody ever uses the bat anymore, we all know that. No, uh, no, no Uzis, huh? Well, why the hell not? Oh, <laughs> Oh well, I don't I don't even really care. It should be there. I mean, I think that they said something about that the last time I got a package, but apparently not. I, apparently I'm just fabricating all this stuff. I don't even know what's going on with my own life right now. I really hope that Kansas State wins today because wow, that was really weird. I just did like a like a car grind. I would have been worth some extra bonus points in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, let me tell you what. I really hope Kansas State wins because my streak for the cash. I'm I'm undefeated right now. I'm two and zero. It's good. Oh, 
Well, that sounds nice. Let's go jump up in this car. I think after we give uh, this mission a go, then we'll be out of time. But I want to make sure that this goes over swimmingly. I don't want to have another episode where I can't accomplish a damn thing. Stupid ass people running their asses into their car, uh, into my car that I'm trying to protect because they're a bunch of dill holes. All right, what have we? Where where is this car that we're supposed to deal with here? Oh. Yep, that's not what I needed. Whoop. Okay. Apparently we're not going to jump it. There we go. Now we can jump it. And they say white men can't jump. Well, okay, maybe they... Well, yeah, they can. White men can definitely jump. Oh, okay. So... Oh, there we go. Right. Buggies! Let's do this. This is just the most awesome thing. I... It's, it's, uh, I don't know, I, I love, I love little remote control things. If it goes out of range, the buggy will detonate. Well, what the hell is the range here? Ah! That's not really what I was looking for there. I mean, they're not letting me really drive the actual car anywhere, so, I mean, they're kind of throwing me out under the bus here. Oh, I watched this awesome show last night. I, I, I don't know if it's, like, brand new or not, but I watched, um this show called uh, Robot Combat League and it is the most awesome ass show that's ever been made ever for a couple of reasons actually a because it's literally like it's like Rock'em Sock'em Robots but completely way different and more ridiculously awesome it's like the most it's like one of the most awesome things I've ever seen it's like a modern marvel of science it's the it's pretty much these teams of two. They take like a bunch of teams of two, and uh, they get to control these these robots and make them fight. And you know you're it's like a, a big competition. Whoever wins the tournament gets a hundred grand. So I mean, how sick is that? I mean, that's like that's like completely awesome. Not to mention that the show is hosted by Chris Jericho of all people. It's like the last guy that I would envision hosting a show like that. It's, it's really weird. But nonetheless, that show is so rad. And it's like this guy, he, he made all the robots himself. Oh! Oh, damn it. I'm going the wrong way. Well, kinda. Oh, don't touch it. Don't touch it! Look at it! Okay, we need to get down here. Oh, don't touch him. Jeez! It's like they don't know that I'm driving this little remote-controlled vehicle trying to cause their impending demise. There, there he is taking the much more difficult road here, but it's going to work. Neo, nobody's ever done anything like this before. What the? I just went... Oh, I went under him, I guess. Neo, nobody's ever done anything like this before. That's why it's going to work. It's the most awesome theology ever regarding something like that. But yeah, it's uh, this guy, he like, he he made all of the, all of the robots himself, and uh... They're all just complete. They're like all controlled by these awesome ass like, uh, like motion suits that you like. You strap yourself in, and like the uh, the actual like arms and stuff are controlled with like these cool motion detection suit things. And then the other guy will control it uh, with like these joysticks and a different thing. So you pretty much have to. It's all like teamwork based. And then whoever wins the fight moves on. It's like this whole playoff system type thing. Okay, I need to. I need to actually do this. I'm getting all confused. Ah! Come on. Up we go. Apparently I'm not very good with my sense of direction here. <laughs> I thought that maybe I could cheat the system and go up that way, but that's not really how they wanted me to do it. But yeah, you should definitely check it out sometime. One of the teams actually is from Portland, so I'm like, I'm like rooting for the hometown guys. The first episode's awesome because the people from Portland were actually the first ones to go. They were actually the uh, they were the lowest seated team in it. So they had like this whole like uh, they had like this whole preliminary scenario thing where they have you do like this little time trial thing. It was like the first time they ever got to use any of the robots, and so it was like getting everybody used to it. And then they did like the seating for the tournament based off of the results of that. And uh, the team from Portland came in last. They did so bad. I I'm not gonna beat around the bush or anything. They did god awful. But Nonetheless, they were able to actually win the first match. They were getting their asses handed to them on a silver platter in the beginning, but they came back and won, and so now I'm pulling for them, man. It's going to be sweet.
Well, we've run out of time for this episode, so when we come back next time on Let's Play Grand Theft Auto 3, it looks like Omar and Slim have both been here doing God knows what, I don't even want to know. Um, but we're going to maybe go back across the uh, across the island. Either that or we're going to finish up these payphone missions, and then uh, we'll give that, that escort mission a try again. So this is your host, AMF1534, saying thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you uh, next time. Bye.